What is up guys, Joe Snow right here and this is iOS 10.2 beta 7, everything you need to know. So let's start, you probably know that iOS 10.2 beta, public beta 7 was just released today, a couple of hours ago. And uh, the problem is that they released iOS 10.2 public beta 7 at just two days after the iOS 10.2 public beta 6 was released. So this is rather peculiar from Apple. They they don't actually do that uh, pretty often. And let's see what is happening in here. Of course, at this point, you might consider that Apple is purposefully delaying the jailbreaking, which in turn might be happening because you probably uh, see there have been a lot of uh, betas for this iOS 10.2 that isn't actually changing too much. It only adds a new application called the TV app that replaces the little video application you have right here. This one will disappear completely when you're going to update to your 10.2 uh, and instead will be replaced with the TV app. You have more information about the TV app in my in-depth iOS 10.2 um, review, which is in the description or in the card up here. But also it includes new emojis on the keyboard and a couple of effects on the mess messages and some uh, couple of toggles on the camera and so on. Nothing extremely fancy, nothing that should uh, require you to, to, to have seven different betas for this version, which is rather peculiar. And what I think it's happening is actually that uh, Apple is trying to force Pango into releasing the other jailbreak by putting pressure on them. How can Apple put pressure on Pango to release? Well, it's fairly simple. You see, by making a lot of betas that have absolutely no sense, that contains absolutely no important changes, uh, at least not changes that couldn't have been um, concatenated into a single uh, beta, they actually make you, the one who want a jailbreak, to try to put pressure on Pangu to release. And if Pangu does release the jailbreak prior to the iOS 10.2 being released publicly, Apple can simply take care of that fix it in the uh, official 10.2 release and then stay safe for a couple of um, versions until Pangu manages to create a new jailbreak and of course making the community not to have a jailbreak anymore because if they manage to release a jailbreak until the iOS 10.2 will be released, that means that uh, Apple can easily touch that and then of course you won't be able to use it anymore, which is rather of a uh, bad thing. Now, if you want to install iOS 10.2 beta 7 and play a little bit with it, you can go ahead here on beta.apple.com, sign in into your uh, normal iTunes account, it's free, and then go right here scroll down, click download profile, you'll need to download and install the profile and then you will be good to go. Everything you need to do is to install the profile, then you will simply need to uh, restart your phone. It will ask you to restart your phone and then you will be good to go. Of course, you need to sign in first. Then you will have this, but the profile looks like this. Let me show you. This is the profile is going to be installed on your phone. It's called iOS beta software profile. And it's, as you can see, verified by Apple. And using this profile, it actually grants you access to the iOS 10.2 betas, which in turn will install automatically and will be downloaded. I actually do not recommend you to download this beta, nor the sixth beta, nor the fifth beta, because they're all just for uh, the lying the jailbreak. So in the uh, previous beta, the uh, sixth one, everything they changed was to actually add uh, new channels to the TV application uh, or some login system for Dish. I didn't quite get uh, what it changed because they don't have a uh, clear log, just because they don't actually change something important to create a log for it. But you, you can, of course, stay updated on my uh, Jailbreak Updates playlist that's available right here and in the description down below. And also, if you want to understand more about everything iOS 10.2 uh, includes, from the camera to the messages and so on, you can go ahead right here. The video is up in the card right here. Or if you're on mobile, go ahead on the description and click the link. It contains a full in-depth review with all the changes and new features, and also if you should update. Of course, if you, if you do want to jailbreak, you should not update to any 
iOS 10.2 betas. Uh, it is important to stay to the version. This is the best advice I, I, I can give you for jailbreaking. Stay at the lowest firmware possible. If you're on iOS 10.1, stay there. 10.0. Great, stay there, because we don't know what Pangu is going to target. Keep in mind, Pangu is actually sponsored by um, 25PP. If you remember the latest version of their jailbreak, this one that was compatible to, for, um, sorry, with iOS 9.2 to iOS 9.3.3 on 64-bit devices, was actually bundled in the first place uh, on the Chinese version with the 25PP application, which is kind of a pirate app store. And 25PP is actually um, a um, sub-company of the Alibaba, which is kind of kind of uh, eBay for Chinese people. So uh, it is a, a huge company and they are sponsoring the jailbreak. So it's very important for Pango to be able to target as much people as possible for as much time as possible, which means that they don't want to target uh, just a couple of devices or just for a... Uh, small or limited time, which means they are not going to release something on these dangerous grounds, because iOS 10.2 betas are dangerous grounds. Betas in general represent dangerous grounds, because if you release a jailbreak for a beta, in the next beta or in the next release, Apple will definitely kill your jailbreak, and of course, people cannot use it anymore. So your, your, your jailbreak is effective just a couple of days, which is not good for Pangu because they're actually working hundreds of minutes, of hours, of days sometimes in order to get it working, and it's of course free. So it's not good neither for them nor for us. So this is it, guys. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm going to do my best to keep you updated on everything that happens on the jailbreaking scene as well as on the betas, and I'm going to keep you updated whether if you need to um, update to the betas or not. Till the next time, do not forget, subscribe and tell me in the comment section down below what you think about Apple's intentions and why they are releasing a lot of dummy updates and peace out.